And then your Seto will come and hit my Mamone again, right? Is that the same order? Okay, that's uh, my grand this time. And then you have all this cancer HP, sure, sure, right? And then Velfern just one shots everyone, sure. And then wait, Velfern died. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, what is up, guys? Guitarok here. Welcome back to another Brave Nine video. Okay, more Guild Wars. I guess we're doing it. I guess we are doing it today. Uh, I think it's a bit late now. Usually the this entire chance would have been emptied out but yeah still have 20 chance left enemy has 50 chance okay i'm not, not sure what's happening on their end but i'm gonna try to see if i can attack any cool opponents okay so first things first we have baby ngepet asmut mid uh most likely asmut to alec it has to be right i think that's how it is celia is like far off right here all by herself so I'm not sure if Asmode will have enough buffs because I'm an Asmode abuser myself, right? And that Asmode is only solo buffed by a Galenia, it seems like. There's no like, there's nothing else. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. All right, so this is what I came up with. So enemy has a Celia going to the top lane. So Celia followed by Galenia, Asmode is gonna try to deal with my Mamonair and Seto, but they should be fine. So 4, 5, 6, Gunter is going first. So Gunter will end up hitting Seto, that's a plus 15 Gunter, very scary. So I'm gonna go in mid with 1, Celia, Velfern, and then 3, 4. So hopefully taking care of the middle lane. So the scary part is going to be the Seto right here. Seto will come in, so I think I want to put something like this. And Seto is plus 13, okay. I don't think this Alec, alright, even though it's a plus 13, right? And fully rank boosted. I don't think this Alec will have enough power to one-shot my Gran. So I'm gonna go for this approach, maybe? So we take care of Celia first. So, because my concept is very simple, I want to go in with Celia and Velfern. Alright, we nullify Galenia's buff and we try to get rid of enemy. So enemy has Celia. His Celia will be going first, and then my Celia goes first, and then his Galena will reapply the buff again. So, going by the turn order, it's safer for me to take care of Celia first with Asmut, and I should be able to, I don't see a problem. The only problem is the Gunter coming in. So what I need to do is something like this, I guess, because Gunter is a skip, right? So this is gonna be as safe as it gets, and I would like to use a grand in the bottom lane so anything else like Kaylin will probably die and something like grand is going to be much more safer right there okay so i think i'm pretty much done with my evaluation let me go and freaking type in the guild before somebody steals it from me all right let's go let's go banshee 9 2020 lol yo banshee 9 might actually be good right here let's see so Asmode failed to take care of Mamone just as predicted. Gunter failed to take care of Seto just as predicted. Alright, so my Asmode will take care of that Celia. Alright, so now it's my Grand going in. So Alex is going to come, right? So this is the part. Alex failed, okay. Just as predicted as well. And I think we are safe from here. I'm pretty sure we are safe. Because the worst thing that can happen is Livia comes in to hit my Grand right now. Oh, Velfern comes in. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna nullify everything. Livia comes in, and we go in with Velfern. Towards Benshina? No! I mean, it's still within the... the range. The expected range. Ah, oh, we should be fine. We have Mamone, right? Boom. Alright. Next. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna try to attack uh, number 6, Kai. So, enemy has Rafitia, Galenia, and Seo Ah, which is quite crazy. Alright, three supporters. So, you can see Rafitia going with Galenia, going to Livia, and then we will have Asmut followed by Seo Ah to Christina. So, at first, I decided maybe I place a Lucius alone in the middle, but that's super risky because Seo Ah, I mean, like Asmut will take care of your Lucius, remove the first layer of Death Guard, and then Christina go in, hit five times, and then later there's a Seto coming in, probably your Lucius is gonna die very very quickly so i thought this is a safer approach i'm going to place mamone in front so mamone will take asmut's hit and i know Seo ah buffing christina can be quite strong 
and I'm not sure my mama name might be like half energy guard away from dying so Christina comes in with Seal Us buff is a bit risky for me to take so I'm just going to block that with a Livia at the skip so Christina doesn't deal 100% defense so Livia is still going to be a safe option right there there's no Celia on the enemy so there's that and then it's my turn I'm going to chain Asmode take care of Seol Ah on the enemy team and then we're going to go with Gran first and then hopefully Seto will end up hitting my Gran right instead of my Livia but even then I do have Gelenia so uh, it's not it's not too scary and then I'm going to go in with a Mamone speaking of which now I don't really need Gelenia I think it's probably still the best option that I have I can't think of anyone else to replace but just for security's sake let's go let's give this a shot uh, I'm gonna see Mamone might be a struggle but I'm gonna have a Livia eventually so Let's see, how much damage will the Asmod deal? Almost more than half. Christina coming in. Po 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 po, 5 hits, 0 damage, easy block. Okay, so chaining everything into my Seal R to Asmod. So that will take care enemy Seal R. 20k right there. Alright, so Grand going in. So that buff prohibits enemy Mamonair. My Mamonair is gonna go hit the Seto. Seto most likely will die. Okay, so now round 2. Gran will die, right? Because of the Livia. So there's that. So boom. So now it's my turn. I'm gonna go with Celia first. I was hoping that the Galania wouldn't die. So now Velfen going in. Quadruple kill. Alright. Hmm, Rafitia ended up. Okay, that's a big waste. Okay, not sure if I've... Oh my god, that Mamonia died. Alright. I'll be surprised if my Asmode can tank through this Mamonia. Wait, what plus is this Mamonia? I need to check. This Mamonia is plus 15 max rank boosted. Wow. Wow. Plus 15 max rank... That's why you don't build Mamonia as DPS. Never build Mamonia as DPS. I heard some people is like, Oh, I'm going to seal our buff. You can't even kill Asmode with 6k HP, like what? DPS mom people are like telling me, oh, why don't you just use a Fatal Rich on Mamone? Nope, don't do it. Don't do it, alright? Not worth it. Alright, next. What is this? Floria Albion, Cancer Strat, I like it. Let's go. Wait, is it me or there's a... There's a Stella. Is it for real? Stella? Oh, okay. Stella, and then yes, yeah, uh, Floria to Albion. Beliaf to Seto. Okay, so Seto is going first. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I can probably just put a Mamone at the bottom. The problem with this is like, yeah, Beliaf's buff is removable. Floria's buff is a bit wonky, doesn't matter, but Lumila will get it. Stella's buff is, is cool, right? Because now Lumila will have the stats weakening, which is useful for sure. But what if I do this? What can you do? Wait, what if I do... I just put a Mamone. What are you going to do? Uh, literally, what are you going to do, right? Because your Seto is going to get stuck. I'm not sure if Lyumila can one-shot Mamone. I don't think so. I think round 1, once I kill this uh, Livia, I'm safe. I don't have to worry about anything. So when round 2 comes, what is this? He has... Yeah, I think we can do it with this threat. I'm pretty sure we can do it with this threat. I don't see much needed. I don't, I don't see there's much changes needed. But Mamone first. Do I go Livia? Mamone is 11 as well. Okay, I think this should be an easy peasy... Easy peasy strat to deal with. Okay, my curiosity is this. Can that Lumila one-shot my, Mamo my Mamone, right? Because there's so much buffs. There's Floria, there's Stella. Okay, okay. So now I'm healing back full though. I am healing back to full. So Asmode will take care of uh, Livia. Asmode is so good. You don't have to worry about Albion, Torn, whatever shit, right? No, not even close. That's like half HP and Belioff just gets destroyed. And then what? And then what? Tell me what you're gonna do. And then your Seto will come and hit my Mamone again, right? Is that the same order? Okay, that's uh, my grand this time. And then you have all this cancer HP, sure, sure, right? And then Velfern just one-shots everyone, sure. 
And then... Wait, Velfin died? Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Uh... Yeah. It has potential to be strong, I think, that formation. But I think instead of Belia, maybe Galenia is better right there? I'm not sure. The Seto is in the middle. And... Yeah, I think this is a, the most refreshing formation I've seen. It doesn't have Galenia. I mean, it's not strong, but it's definitely refreshing to see because it's something different. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye. <laughs>